Okay, so I'm starting the lesson, not the lesson, I'm starting the workshop. Um, yeah, so, so this will be, will be my fourth free workshop doing um, this, creating dragon silhouettes. Um, so I guess, yeah, right now it's like, right now it's just you, but yeah, there might be some other few people who might join to this workshop. Uh, but yeah, like, I'm not going to wait, I'm going to start already. And either way, um, this is like already been recorded, so uh, for anyone who's going to you know see on YouTube later, yeah, like I'll just be posting this up like later on, so you guys can watch it there too. Cool. Um, so thank you for joining the workshop. Uh, really cool. Um, and yeah, just wanted to say like if you um, you know if you really haven't, you, know, you can just want to see my uh, art station stuff, which I have here. I also have some like YouTube uh, videos and even my past workshops on here. Uh, so yeah, you can check it out, feel free. Some other like tutorials that I made too, uh, Instagram and Twitter. So yeah, um, it will be great if you guys can follow me up if you like the content and stuff. So yeah, let's get rolling. Right. So, creating dragon silhouettes. I'll be showing you guys uh, three different ways, three different techniques. So one will be using photos, um, and this will just be using silhouettes. The other one will be using lasso tools, um, if you're, f if you're like, familiar with like Photoshop, or maybe in Krita, maybe. Um, hey Mercy! <laughs> Um, and the other third one will be using like brush strokes to create dragons and of course like you know you guys are uh, just feel free to like talk if you want um, on this workshop so yeah like, if you have any questions just feel free to like message me on like uh, the workshop chat um, or even just yeah just talk <laughs> talk through um, this just yeah you can just just yeah, talk or whatever if you want. Or just comment on them. Um, I think maybe around... Well, I just want to aim maybe for like two hours, I guess. Because there will be like three different methods that I want to show. Um, and for my previous one, because I was doing a Japanese one, uh, a Japanese version workshop, I was making three different silhouettes and one for another method. And another one for the other one. <laughs> so that kind of like took me a bit of a while. So I was thinking maybe like yeah, like just do one for each if that's okay with you guys. <laughs> so yeah. Yes, yes. Yay. <laughs> yeah, Ayuta. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you for joining. Um, sorry. Of yeah. Of course. Yeah. Do you use your mouse to do the drawings? No, uh, I'm using a pen tab. So I'm using a Wacom pen tab. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I do have like a, what, a monitor screen tablet, but I haven't opened it yet. And it's kind of too big to fit on my desk. <laughs> so yeah, um, cool. So let's draw some dragons then, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are good, cool with like seeing the screen. You guys okay? Yep, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Nice. Right. So I'm just gonna um, pause my camera because I think the internet's gonna be a bit slow if I just do this and that. So yeah. Right. Cool. Okay. So yeah. Right. So I'm just gonna maybe create three different groups. So one is just using lasso tools. Another one will be using photo uh, I'll just put in brackets bash. <laughs> and another one will be just doing brush strokes. Well one brush stroke. Right. And before I begin I do like to um, have a background in maybe like a kind of like a dark grey kind of colour because one like 
um, if you are working in like a company, like us say for a game studio, or like a you know, I don't know, and then when you, when you show like to a director um, some work and stuff, and if they see the midnight and it's kind of like dark, it's like, yeah, if it's like just having a white background, it kind of like blinds them. <laughs> so <laughs> it's good to have in like you know, gray color or something like that. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, and you guys are all familiar with using Photoshop or like Krita or um, some other software, right? So, yeah. Yeah, I'm a Procreate girl, yeah. so <laughs> I will see how this will work for cool. me. Cool, no problem. Um, but do you do you guys have a a thing called the lasso tool on your? Yeah, 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 yeah. cool. No worries if you're a beginner, it's fine. Um, if you if you have this thing, a lasso tool, um, then that's what you need for this method, for this lasso tool method, okay? So, first of all, using a lasso tool, it's like um, you can just make different selections of just random, random shapes if you want, you know. And the good thing is, so if you use a lasso tool and maybe like a, I don't know, make some kind of random doodle like a <laughs> like a random doodle like that and I'm like a, oh like I'm missing some feet what should I do if you press the shift key on your keyboard while you draw again you basically adding more selections like this uh, like this okay I'm, I'm like oh but I think like um the head it needs to be like a bit more shorter or like it's a bit too long then if I use the alt key or the option key on your keyboard so when you uh, press alt on your keyboard while drawing then you deselect the selection so yeah I guess you guys are cool with that maybe maybe not yeah <laughs> you are you good too uh, yeah. yeah okay nice Right, cool. So when it comes to drawing dragons, I like to um. Sorry, yes, I like to basically think how is how dragons are made of. So I I kind of like think okay like they one for me it's like they either made from like a um a mix of birds, maybe a mix of lizards, uh maybe crocodiles. There's, and maybe bats and so even yeah, I might as well just put it from the other one here so <clears throat> basically I like to uh, create like a research like a small like a small mood board kind of you know collage or whatever you can call it and I like to just have it like on the side on the canvas here like so so in here you can see I have a lizard I have some snakes, a bat, bat, and like a Komodo dragon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, because this will kind of help me um, create different shapes uh, to, you know, better image, uh, better imagine what kind of dragon I'm making. So let's say, for example, like, you know, you're trying to create wings for a dragon. And these kind of, you know, wings. You see that quite a lot, maybe like European style uh, dragons, rather than if you see like an Asian style dragon, like they don't really have <laughs> wings, you know, but they have like more like a snake kind of silhouette, if I say. So these will kind of help you. Uh, I mean, this is just like a small example of like some photos I'm like you know having here, but it will help you better, like, you know, create what kind of dragon you want by using the last tool and making silhouettes. So let's just start for example. I'm gonna create a new layer and I am gonna draw oops daisy. I am gonna draw like a random shape like this. And yeah like it doesn't have to be too accurate because you can always add more stuff. But I'm gonna delete that one again because that kind of like went really crazy. 
Right, so... Yeah, maybe I'm gonna start... Something like this first. Like so. And from here, I'm gonna add and I'm gonna subtract stuff uh, to make it look more like a dragon. And I'm gonna basically start from my head. Maybe add some. <laughs> maybe add some kind of spikes, what you can call it. Maybe this is like a, this is like a head. And uh, you know they they could this dragon could have some uh, spikes on the shoulders here too. So I could add that. Welcome back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so um, when you're making spikes like this, this too, uh, be careful not to do like repetitive shapes like this, because that kind of makes it boring. So you want to kind of make like a rhythm of different shapes, like some are big, some are small, and some are like kind of middle size, but you don't want to go like <laughs> like that big. <laughs> Yeah, kind of like you know, play around the size, but don't like try try not to like do like yeah, because this one's a bad kind of example, like, and even this one too. You kind of wanna like break down the shape small, smoothing it out, mixing small shapes, <laughs> like so, like that, yeah. Yeah, you have some kind of like, like the reason why you want to make some rhythm, you want to make like different um, shapes, uh, sizes, is because it makes it look more natural. Again, like if we see even this, like the spikes. I mean, this is like super pixelated because of the the size, but yeah, like even even this, like if I, yeah. Like slightly, they have small spikes and big ones and medium ones, and then you know you suddenly have small ones here too. Hey, Sasaki-san, thank you for joining. Hi, <laughs> it's alright. Um, yeah. Question. Uh, don't don't you feel disappointed to see very few people in these workshops? Um, no, not really, because oh, she's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh, hello. 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 <laughs> Thank you for joining. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm drawing. I'm drawing dragons right now using a lasso tool, and basically, we are doing the first uh, silhouette by using the lasso tool and making dragons. And I have a set of photos here that will help you. Uh, visualize and imagine what kind of dragon you want. And the dragon that I'm, I'm making right now is, I guess, more like a snake kind of shape. So this one might not have wings. Well, I could add wings if I want, but I'll see how it goes first. So yeah, again, I uh, feel free to like ask me any questions, or you know, you can just talk like randomly if you want. Um, I don't really mind. <laughs> um, and you know, just feel free to just do the same thing or make something new. And then, if you want to show, then yeah, please, please do show the work if you want. Right. Cool. So I made a body right now, on here. So I might just add some uh, arms, maybe. I'm just gonna. So again, I'm using the shift key to add the limbs and then if I don't want like some parts I can use the alt key to deselect the selection okay 
So again, the Alt key is to deselect, the Shift key is to add, add the selections, like so. Yeah, so right now, I'm kind of like making like a, maybe like a small, small kind of hand, arm. <laughs> to be honest, like, I am, I'm actually pretty bad <laughs> at doing um, arms. <laughs> like, they look like small, like chicken arms or, you know, dinosaur kind of, <laughs> dinosaur arms or whatever. So. Little T-Rex. Oh, yeah, exactly. The yeah. <laughs> yeah T-Rex, exactly. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Back in those times, it, yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, maybe like a cute kind of cute arms, <laughs> but it, yeah, maybe. <laughs> but like, you know, again, the the arms they're not really the focus point. So yeah, it'll be cool. <laughs> right. Um, so yeah, let's say I make I made a shape like this. I then basically use the bucket tool, and I have it in black. And then, boom, I just paint it in, in black first, okay? Right. And then maybe you, you might want to scale it up a bit, so it's more, you know, better to see. And when you've done that, you will then either use the lasso tool again, or an eraser, or a brush. So an eraser, is uh, if you press E, that's the shortcut for, uh, you know, erasing, and B is brush. A brush. Yeah. E is erasing. B is brush. Yeah. And um, from here, I'm basically gonna detail some parts. Uh, I can even again use the lasso tool and. You know, maybe add some, add some kind of beard. Maybe add some beard, like so. Maybe like uh, fatten this kind of muscle a bit. Clean, um, clean up the spikes, the shapes in here. Like so. Maybe in here too. And yeah, again, like if you have like these kind of spikes, like one here, one here, one here, and like the the space, the distance is like really similar. Like you want to try and break it apart. So you know maybe I might have some more spikes here. One big one. Small ones, small, small, big, like this. Maybe like this. Again, if you guys have any questions, just feel free to just yeah shout out and stuff. So I'm, I'm cool with that. Um, yeah, so let's say we have this, like this, and then I'm going to use the bucket tool again to, uh, maybe not, I'm going to use the brush tool, I'm going to size it up, um, take off the pen pressure button, and just going to color it in. I have a question. Yeah. When you go into the silhouette later with the brush, what is your preferred brush? Do you lo use like a hard round one or like mm -hmm. a textured one with some mm -hmm. random effects mm -hmm. or? I use um, I use a normal, um, oops, sorry. Yeah, that, that's a good question actually. Um, I use a normal brush. So I use a hard brush, a hard round brush. And I, I tend to use this. I'm not sure what you called it, like this kind of pressure. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, pen. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, control pressure, and then I go on here on the brush set the brush settings, and then on the spacing here, I just 
uh, turn it to 1% because right. if you have on the default 15% and then let's say you just uh, paint like this can you see like the the bumps yeah like it kind of looks ugly <laughs> so mm -hmm. that's why I like to have it on here and then when you brush it when you brush it oops sorry I don't have it on it yeah when you brush it then you know it's like a like some kanji kind of brush style <laughs> no I'm joking but <laughs> yeah like that you know so it's more clean and it's more um, it's, yeah, it's more easier to see so yeah I like, I like to use this and it's more faster yeah. because um, like even yeah with the eraser I, I don't know why I have it on here right now on, on this um, setting but yeah I, eraser one too I tend to um, set it to a hard ram brush and then I have the control pressure on too so it's more easy to control like what you want to uh, erase like this and then yeah you can just go back and forth and erase and you know um, add erase and add so yeah, it's pretty cool that I'm doing that yeah. So again, I'm just adding small parts and even uh, big parts too. But the focus on here is because it's a silhouette. So I like to focus more on the outline shapes rather than what's happening inside because you know, right now it's all black. So right now I'm, I'm just imagining like for a dragon, like what would happen what would it look like on the the stomach side so when you have these like sort of, uh, when you have these photos like ready next to you you can then like see and research like I do like a small research on you know, snakes like they have these kind of like scaly um, kind of textures like even this like the the shoulder part and the back part well sorry the back part and the stomach part they have different textures. Um, even bats, you know, it's all different. Again, like, have you ever guys seen like Japanese or Chinese dragons? Like, they have this kind of, um, this kind of texture, you know, on the stomach side. Like, they have some really simple textures. Like, even like Pokemon, you know, um, some dragon type Pokemon's. Like, they have this kind of texture too on the stomach side. Uh, even bugs and insects, they have this kind of like um, armor kind of like thing, armor kind of like texture. So maybe I could use that on this dragon too. So what I would do is either I can add, I can add these kind of bumps like manually, like this, but it looks kind of round. So I could do that, or I could either erase, erase parts to make it look like bumps, like this. So it's more like um, um uh. yeah. Do you have a question, or oh, you okay? Yeah. Or, uh, or you can um, use the lasso tool to. Uh, you can go in detail like this, you can zoom in and it's like you're making like slits like um, small gaps and then you can, you know, let's say delete and then it has this kind of cool kind of, you know, uh, look on the edge so there's like many different ways you can do it but I, there's, you know, I tend to uh, try and stick to three different ways. So one again is the brush tool to add Two is to delete erasing by using the eraser and Three is using the lasso tool to either add or subtract the parts and fill it in So yeah, let's say um, let's all maybe have like maybe what five minutes or something five minutes or maybe 
I don't know, seven minutes to create something, like create your first um, silhouette. Let's all do it together. And then just tell me guys when you finish. <laughs> aye, aye. Yep. Oh. I thought I heard um, someone. Ah, no, that was just the sound of approval. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was not a question. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, sir. Yeah, I was like, hmm? okay, was that like a connection <laughs> sorry, error sorry. or something? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah, so let's do that. Wait, I have a question. Yeah, go ahead. Um, Are you guys all on um, Photoshop? Yeah, uh, no, uh, no, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no, I should not say you that. are. Yeah, I am. Uh, but I don't know. Uh, what others are using. So uh, I'm you... using uh, Procreate, if I may answer that question. Mm. What, what kind of program do you have? Um, I'm not sure. Um, uh, let me check. Yeah. Uh, And so, so sounds using Photoshop, right? <laughs> yeah, well, I use a Photoshop um, sometimes Procreate. Yeah, I yeah. use both. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have the feeling that in Procreate, the selection tool is not as advanced as in Photoshop. Right. I, it's pretty tricky. Uh, to make similar shapes like you do. Right. Hmm. Interesting. So, I mean, it's kind of working, but it's not so handy like <laughs> the Photoshop Lasso Tour. Okay. <laughs> right, right. That's interesting. Hmm. Okay. I think... Uh, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't think I have any of those. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> there are free programs. <laughs> Hmm. Maybe Creta. Yeah. Mm. Are you using a free program like yeah, Creta, like, like how Mercy said? Okay, okay I'm gonna download it. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Yeah. Yeah. So this will give maybe like uh, what five uh no four minutes, I think. Four more minutes. Yep. Did um did, did the other person lick 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 it? Left. Lith? Is she gone? The Lilith. L L L L L I think so. Okay. Lick it. Lick. Yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> okay. Tongue tongue twister. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really hard to uh, pronounce. That's what I thought. But yeah, no worries. <laughs> um, cool. Yeah. So. Yeah, so I'm gonna also just add some details on the on the arm um, on the arms. Maybe on the horns. Maybe add some kind of um not like a moustache, but like a beard. Maybe. Hmm. Yeah, C yeah, Cre Cre Creta. Hmm. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I use um Creta too actually. Um, when I teach one of my students, uh, because he doesn't have Photoshop. Um, but yeah, it's. It's kind of a similar program. I'm, I'm not sure how Procreate is like, um, how similar similar the interface is compared to uh, Photoshop. But, yeah. Oh, that's a different thing. It's more broken down. Right. So. 
good luck. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, I'm struggling. Like, you're super fast and I'm just <laughs> no, no, no. selecting and trying. <laughs> because are you... So, do you guys uh, just use, like, a... Uh, like a pad, like an iPad or something to... Yeah, yeah. Okay, right, right. Yeah, that yeah, that must be hard because you're not using a keyboard or anything, right? No, so no shortcuts. <laughs> okay. that's, yeah, that's tricky. Okay, well, good luck. <laughs> also, I think it's more easier when you're doing like shape designs like this and silhouettes mm. um, to have like the full screen to see everything. But yeah. with the iPad, your hand is in the way. So <laughs> it's kind of tricky. Right. Well, I do feel sorry at the same time, but I'm like, well, you know, it's your, cho it's your choice of getting a Procreate. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Well, well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so maybe another minute or so? So, Saksana, are you, are you also joining this thing? Are you, are you making something? Uh, yes, I'm also... Making it, oh, yeah. Nice. Sorry, I'm 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 really quiet person, so it's please don't worry no, about me. No, 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 it's okay. Like if, if you if you yeah. um, don't want to talk, yeah. that's completely fine. So, mm -hmm. yeah. but if, you know, um, if if you if you want to participate in this and if you want to oh, yeah. um, mm -hmm. share some work what you created um, right now, then yeah, that that would be pretty yeah, cool. I definitely and uh, share uh, what I'm doing this five minutes challenge. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's that's cool. Because yeah, Sussex Sun is one of the cool students. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. Right. Okay, so Right. Alright, so yeah, maybe time is kind of up. I mean, if you guys want to um, show something on the screen, then yeah, that would be cool to see. But and if, if not, then that's fine. You know, you can always just post it on um, the Workshop Chat Space channel um, on my Discord server uh, if you want. Or, you know, you can just share your screen and show it all. Uh, if you don't want to, then that's fine. Yeah. That's cute. Yeah. I think I will upload it later in the yeah, Discord because yeah. it's kind of tough to <laughs> come with a capture card now yeah, yeah. and connect the iPad to the PC. Yeah, that must be really uh, complicated. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <Apple>. Disgusting. <laughs> no worries. All right then. Cool. Um, so yeah. So okay. So once you've done that, once you made some kind of small details, then you make another layer and you clip i'm not sure if you guys have this in your software but if you add a new layer and then if you press alt key uh alt key on the keyboard if you have a keyboard uh and then when you're between these two layers you should see this kind of different um icon you know the icon will change like this and when you press it on you're basically clipping this upper layer onto the dragon layer like so oh hang on uh sasaki-san has posted something oh okay yeah yeah that's really cool i like um do you mind if i um, put this on my photoshop ah yeah so yeah. so is that the right phrase i upload um uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's a cool one you have Okay. Thank you for yeah posting this. That's actually cool. Um, yeah, this is pretty cool. I like the head design in here. Um, yeah, like a red color. But I think um, this thing, the this shape, is too kind of s static, if I should say. It's well, like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like um, this mm. and that. So um, maybe if you have more of like a flow, um, mm. maybe this way. Mm. You uh, know, yeah. what I was imagining the Dragon Ball. The oh of the, yeah. So that's why the shape was like this. Right, <laughs> so right, the, right. Oh, that's a cool one. Yeah. I, yeah. Sorry, I, I thought these were like dra yeah, dra dra Dragon Balls, mm -hmm. but. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's actually cool. Um, but I think, I think I would, if I was you, 
Um, oh, I don't know why it's clicking. There you go. Yeah, so if I was you, I would um, maybe elongate, make this kind of maybe more longer. Oh, yeah. And kind of smaller. And then. And then you know maybe add a uh, add like a black kind kind of color, and then you know you just kind of sorry that was really bad. Um, so yeah, I'll I would basically make the um, the tail a bit more longer to. Mm. Make this dragon look more bigger, if that makes sense. Oh, yeah. mm. So from here, yeah, the, the shape's not really good. What I'm doing right now, but yeah, more like this. And maybe um, maybe the head. Um, this could maybe it could be more smaller, maybe a bit more. Mm. Um, just to. Make it more look bigger, but no, still, I think I think it's really cool, man. So yeah, definitely keep it up. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Um, so once you've once you um, if you manage to clip a new layer onto your bottom layer, that you have with the dragon. You can then maybe select um, a color like uh, this color you have in the background, and then. You add the pen pressure tool on, and then we I, well we basically start I basically start painting in values, colors, like so. Uh, but before I do that, I like to actually change my brush to a soft brush first, and turn this one off. Yep, um, and then I like to make like you know the big parts. The big areas first. So I like to work out. I like to work from big to small, big areas to small areas. So, right. So with the pen pressure tool on, I'm gonna start. It's like um, you know, start defining where your where your lighting, where your light hits. So the most easiest way I would say is you know the light the light source is coming from the top part. Uh, maybe from let's say. The top left part, so that it hits more on the face, to you know, to hey hey hike, long time no see. <laughs> Feel free to um, talk in here if you want. Yeah. So right now, um, we just like start doing the first silhouette using a lasso tool, and just making dragons. So once you use the lasso tool to select and create a dragon. Uh, we basically went and used a paint bucket tool to paint into the silhouette, and then right now I basically clip, I made a new layer and clipped it onto the dragon silhouette, so that I can now paint some values in. And yeah, feel free to talk um, on Google Meetup, or you know you can um, message on Google Meetup or on the Discord server. So yeah, just. Just feel free, like you know, <laughs> feel like at home, right? So, so right now I'm I'm basically defining the the big areas by just brushing in with a soft brush, like so. And now, after I've done that, it's really like it's really simple, just just that, yeah, just that. Yeah. Um, I basically then change my brush to a hard brush and then I also apply this pressure on. I basically start from the head, just start creating details so it looks more like a, dra like, like, <laughs> like a dragon. So, right. So let's start maybe from the eyes. I like to start from the eyes so you know it's just more easier to, to see what it looks like. Very 
thingy. And maybe like doing the eyes, like you, you can start doing the eyes first too, just to like give a bit of a mood and like, you know, coolness to it. <laughs> so. If you see my thing, like I'm also using a, um, uh, a color, you know, color choosing tool. I, I completely forgot what it's called now. Um, <laughs> yeah, the eye, the eye, the eye drop tool, I think, to just constantly pick colors, like even on my silhouette color, because you can see like this isn't pure black. Like I do have a bit of like lighting on, so it, ha it has a bit of a charcoal grey kind of colour. So this kind of gives me a good gradient and a good kind of texture to just, you know, paint on, paint on top. So. And if you're having, uh, if you guys are having trouble drawing dragon heads, <laughs> Uh, like I said in the beginning, or um, yeah, for those who are not here, I basically start um, collecting images. So I basically start collecting images of dragons. Uh, you know, what what kind of defines dragon? So that could be lizards, like reptiles, um, snakes, maybe uh, bats, like or even birds for the wings. You know, like a Komodo kind of dragon dude. Um, because then, you know, if it's on the head part, which I'm painting right now, I can even, you know, use these even, even bat heads or snakes or lizard heads to, you know, give me a good kind of um, understanding of how reptile heads look like. And I think, you know, dragons, they have more like a, a Komodo kind of dragon kind of... <laughs> Komodo dragon. Yeah, Komodo dragon kind of head. So, you know, it's like having good reference while you're painting is the best way of, for me, like, you know, painting anything, painting dragons. Yeah. References are our friends. Oh, definitely is. <laughs> it's not cheating. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, Keep dead in mind. That's, that's a really good point because I I think um still a lot of people still consider um using references is cheating, um but even for you know even for work even in a professional um industry we we all use reference uh, no matter what, um because it's you know one is is fast, <laughs> it's definitely fast. It's helping. Too, like it, it makes it more accurate when you're using references. So you basically make more better work, I guess. So, yeah, you're yeah. better off with learning from life. Oh yeah. You use and I really regret it because uh, back in art school, mm. like art art school, high school, uh, it was also like oh when you use references you're cheating and I regret this so much because you know all the time wasted to fix anatomical problems right, and right. ideas finding ideas yeah would be so much easier just <laughs> look something up <laughs> yeah yeah there definitely is um I like to kind of like um say like uh well it's not completely accurate but it's like fake it until you make it so yeah, okay. um, yeah, it's just kind of like, yeah, you, you use any tools you have, so it, you know, it looks good, it, it looks like amazing, <laughs> you know, however, however you want to say. So, uh, yeah, definitely, uh, yeah, guys, I definitely don't think it's miserable um, of <laughs> using references, because <laughs> I, I use it almost every day when I do my work, uh, doing mm -hmm. concept art stuff, so, yeah. 
That's that's a great point. Yeah. So even like um, teeth. Well, I don't really have a reference here uh, for for teeth, but you know maybe if, if you're trying to add some teeth, um, you know, it could be it could be small teeth or like sharp teeth stuff. So I'm like slowly like adding teeth. Yeah. And actually, some of them they could be like. You know, quite big, small, and again it's, it's the same with like um, the spikes, like, it's the same with these spikes, so you don't want to have like a constant kind of like the, 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 like constant kind of same shape going on or the same size, uh, you want to try and break that down like a rhythm and have you know some parts you might have small small uh, sizes and some are maybe large like so. yeah so I'm gonna add uh, maybe some nostrils gonna make this part a bit more darker So since I'm doing um, value sketching, value sketching my dragon, um, try and also uh, focus on the shadows if you can. Like, um, I mean, even I think if you are a beginner, like try and as much as you can, um, maybe have like a reference picture next to you. Even this, and then. Try and see how shadow and lighting works. Okay, right. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh, hang on. I I had a an announcement saying the call ends in fifteen minutes because I think I had this too long. Maybe um, if this finishes, I'll. Um, I'll create a new link and then we'll just go on to that one. If you guys are okay with that. Yeah. Yeah, sure. yeah sorry for the inconvenience for that. And also yeah, just to save time, I'm just I'm just doing um, just the head part right now because you know I'm just gonna add more lighting on the head part rather than body. Um, since we're also doing like the other ones here too. Okay. All right. Um, so yes, I might add another home kind of. Yeah, maybe um, yeah, these kind of shapes like this. Yeah, this one doesn't look cool. So let's add this. I mean, yeah, I think at the end of the day, I think I would say anyone can draw dragons, <laughs> even beginners. Uh, but, uh, if you have reference and you know, if if you know that you know uh, dragons are not made like just just you know out of, out of air. Um, if you know that you know dragons are made up of just different elements of different living animals, then you should be good. <laughs> yeah. So it's gonna. Yeah. There you go. And after you made, you know, maybe after you made like a, a value um, painting, so you know, just for this workshop, I'm just doing on the head part. Um, I like to then, and I'm not sure if you guys have on your software. Um, I like to go and add a color lookup or a gradient map. So maybe I might use a gradient map. 
So when you have a gradient map, these are basically like automatic um, gradients, gradient colors that you can use to, you know, make different colors, which is like super fast and super useful when you don't have time. <laughs> That's a really funky color. Um, but I don't use it just like this. So I like to have my blending mode from normal to soft light. I clip it on to my dragon and then I click on this uh, box called reverse like so and the opacity too maybe um, I'll just have to maybe like 71% or something and then because there's so many different colors to choose like yeah you can just play around and you know see what kind of color looks cool on your dragon so yeah maybe for me like maybe like this color might might be pretty, pretty cool so I might have this on and then you can then add another color by adding maybe a gradient map a color lookup or a photo filter um, so maybe I might go for like a color lookup uh, let's see how this one works so I clip it on and on here and I'm not sure if you guys have it but if you don't like, use the gradient map uh, for this so this is like another like automatic kind of color coloring setup that will change the mood on um, you know what kind of color you want and here um, like some of them work and some of them might not and then you can of course change the blending mode again so I, I like to normally use it on like a soft light and if it doesn't work then maybe like a, a lighten or um, a screen or just yeah, just a normal one and then you can then um, change the opacity again to what you want like so and yeah don't forget to save don't forget to save your file because mm -hmm. it's, yeah oh yeah definitely command s <laughs> <laughs> your best friend oh yeah <laughs> That's a big pro for Procreate. It auto saves all the time. Oh really? So yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you you never want to forget that command. You know, <laughs> command protocol. Um, yeah, I, I've had some painful times. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we all had. <laughs> oh yes, we did. We all had. We all had. <laughs> on the same spot. Yeah. So yeah, th yeah. These are. Um, it's actually pretty cool, like having um, you know, using a gradient map because yeah, you don't have to manually manually like color in um the colors like the colors are already there for you to choose. So um, yeah, like depends on what kind of you know where your dragon kind of lives. You can kind of just try and fit to that environment. <laughs> So uh, yeah, let's just just play around with the colors, like you know, see which one works. Um, and I'm I'm actually pretty terrible with deciding. <laughs> so yeah, um, and I'm, I'm sure with you guys too. Like you know, it's like a oh, like this color, like this will work for my dragon. But yeah, so there's like some of the colors that's like really cool, it's funky. So. For some random reason, maybe a purple. I have no idea why. Like, maybe I'll add it to be kind of funky today. So yeah, that's a purple. Um, but again, like you know, you don't have to use purple. Oops, sorry. Oh, I heard, I heard something. Um, did you say something or? Ah uh, no. No. Oh, oh, sorry. I just, I just talking to my mom. All right. Sorry about that. <laughs> Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. So um yeah, you can even if you don't want to put uh apply to all everything, uh, you have like these masking boxes, these white small boxes in here where you can brush in and out the gradient map colors. So right now I'm brushing out the colors. And uh, if you look at here 
I am doing X, I'm pressing X on my keyboard, which will flip the colors uh, and default. Well, it doesn't have to be default, but you can just flip the colors. And if you use a white color, you're bringing back the colors. If you use a black color, you're hiding the colors, like so. Um, so that's a pretty cool thing to do. Another thing which is cool is since you have these layers that are stack up, um, clipped in, you can even change the orders and see how the effect looks. So if I have it on here, maybe this one, it will be like, slightly different. Yeah. Alright, cool. So when you've done that, when you've added maybe like gradient maps, color lookup, or, or maybe another one, uh, a photo filter. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys have it, but... So this, again, is like a coloring filter. So you have different colors that you can choose from. So you have a warming filter, cooling filters, red, orange, and many, many different filters you can choose. Um, and you can also control the density, which is the strength of the colors. So right now it's on twenty five percent, but if I if I boost it up, like boom, like it just becomes like like a red dragon. Yeah, um, warming filters and you know, cool colors. And yeah, you know maybe maybe this dragon dude he's like living in, like some swamp or something. So that's why he's like purple and gloomy or you know dark. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, or maybe like this kind of color. Yeah, this might work. And after you've done that, after you've done that, we add another layer, another new layer this time, and you clip it on. And so this is a, a trick that I use all the time when I'm adding highlights. I use a paint bucket tool on black and I paint it in everything in black right now. So as you can see, it's black because I just painted in black. The magic here is on the blending mode, and if you guys have a blending mode, of, um, yeah, really sorry if you guys don't, but on the blending mode, if you go onto color dodge, the black goes away. Well, it's not really going away, it basically is hiding because you're using a color dodge tool. The magic happens when, if I use a, a soft brush or you know, any brush you want, but if I use a brush and if I use a white color or something bright and apply on it, you get this kind of glowing effect, which is pretty cool. So I will basically using this to first of all figure out again where the lighting is hitting so for me like it's hitting like I want it to hit more on the head part maybe some parts on the spikes or you know the shoulders and I also want to have it like some kind of dynamic lighting or like dramatic lighting should I say that's like hitting maybe maybe here or something like this um, so yeah so maybe on here and I like to um, change the opacity, yeah, kind of down a bit, like so. Yeah. Um, the good part about this um, color dodge tool is it's very powerful. Like you know, you can easily create lightings and highlights like this. But it's because it's so powerful. Like you know, sometimes if you press too hard, it just becomes like just white, and you don't want that. So you just want to uh, use the pen pressure tool and just go faintly, go faintly on where the light will be hitting first. Yeah. So I like to um, I like to kind of start off by adding lighting first and just you know um, try and use try and go faintly like really like try and gently um, brush, brush in. You don't want to go like this. Uh, you just want to 
go really faintly because the goal here is to make like a beautiful kind of gradient from light to shadow light to shadow because when you go far like here and see the artwork like it looks like it looks good on your eyes so yeah let's try and go smoothly as possible and yeah maybe add some highlights on the eyes too just to like you know glow up and make it look special like so and maybe add some colors on the teeth and don't forget on the highlights on here too maybe on the nose and you know on um, on these parts and here maybe on here Hmm. What's this one? Ah, yeah. It's gonna change the opacity a bit. And then let's say you um actually I'm gonna add another highlight maybe on here too, just to, just to give give some interest. And yeah, um, just you know, go back and forth using the black and the white um, color to paint in and paint out the lighting. Yeah, like this. Okay. okay. Now to uh, to make it more dimensional, if I should say, or to make it look more three D in some sense you want to add shadow, uh, not just lighting. Apologies, apologies for that. <laughs> yeah, um, sorry about that. I'm just gonna share my screen. Um, oh, yep. Uh, yep. Uh, where is it gone? Screen two. Um, yeah. Can you guys see my screen? Everything? Oh yeah. Nice. Cool. Oh yeah. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Um, yeah, in a minute. So I'm just gonna. Yeah, everything should be cool. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. So, um, to make it more like three D or dimensional, um, I would say you know add some shadow on. So, actually, I'm gonna make this color dodge layer. Um, I'm gonna turn down the opacity a bit more. Yeah, around this much. Okay. So it's like um, when you add lighting, well, when I add lighting, um, I like to kind of go back and forth, like um, lighting and shadow and lighting and shadow and so on. So now I'll be adding some shadow. So let's maybe say I'll use a multiply uh, blending mode. And I'm gonna just make, you know set my color to default and add shadow to where it should apply. And again, um, if you're stuck with how shadow or where where shadow would actually go on, and I think this would like especially uh, be good for you hike is like look at like photo references, like even this. 
like this is like really beautiful um, kind of example of how lighting uh, actually you know, reflects because you have lighting you know the light source is maybe from the topper so that's why the lighting is reflecting on here on the, on the face or you know on the highlights um, on the back part but obviously not on the front part in here so and there's some bounce light coming off um, from the surface so that's why the bottom part here is slightly lighter and if you also go closely like not only just on the snake um, the snake uh, texture but even on these wooden um, textures like you can see like when you have some shadow like here on the creases or even on um, the scale like you can see there's some depth like uh, you can see it, it looks more 3d uh, in some sense yeah. so that's what you're gonna have that's what you want to um, try and um, get by adding shadow it's like you're adding more realism into it so obviously if I have lighting uh, coming from the top left part so the light source, the light source is coming from here then I should have some shadow maybe you know dropping on here not on everything like this but you know just small parts like so and you want to have some lighting again um, you want to add more additional lighting so you can even go back to um, this layer the color dodge layer and again add lighting where you think it should be, it should be like this How is your setting for the multiply? Because when I use it now, mm -hmm. it's like pure black. Oh, uh, the multiply, this one? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what? Uh, how how it works? Do you see or? Uh... Uh, I I know uh, because the color dodge you set down the opacity a bit, right? Yeah. Yeah. To forty three percent. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Ah, I see. Okay. Oh. So <laughs> it was a really, it was a really harsh contrast. So uh, right. my question was like, if you're painting on the multiply layer with pure black, or if yeah. you have any other color. So, right. but I right. think the issue was because my color dodge layer wasn't on opacity. So. Okay, right, yeah, right. Yeah, because if you have it on the hundred percent, it's like blasting with light. <laughs> mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I, I like to um, um, yeah, just put my opacity kind of low first, and then I like to just build more new layers and just you know, keep keep on just adding, you know, lighting like really faintly, like not like drastically. So again, I applying a color dodge layer again, and then again, I'm gonna maybe go on to the highlights. Uh, you don't have to always use a soft brush for this. You can even you know, go and use a hard brush, and you know, there could be some well rim lights. Let's say, like, you know, lights that are basically hitting on the edge. And also, yeah, if you, um, let's say if you have, like, you accidentally um, put some lighting here for some random reason, you can just um, go back to using my black color and just brush it out, just like that. So it's like acting like a like an eraser.
And yeah, I'm just also just going back and forth using a soft brush and a hard brush. And again, I'm just using uh, another multiply layer. And I'm also just gonna paint out. Well, now I'm gonna maybe, you know, pick another color from the dragon already that's in here. And just, you know, just paint in shadows that you don't want the eye to focus on too much. And even for this too, like you don't have to just use a soft brush, but you can use a, um, a hard round brush and add more detail. Right. For another layer, which I can create in here, is using no blend modes, so uh, purely just blending the colors. And I'll be using a hard round brush for this. And I'm just gonna blend in So even on the teeth, if you have some time, you can just you know, put some shadows in if you want. Even on the eyes too, you can maybe uh, go a bit more in detail. Well, it's not like I'm gonna add some mascara on it, but <laughs> like no makeup <laughs> on the dragon. <laughs> but, but yeah, so. and just you know, um, just clean clean up some parts that you think looks odd. And yeah, um, you basically have like a dragon um, using just a last tool. Well, not just a last tool, but with a combination of uh, you know hard brown brush and soft brush, and using the eraser and gradient maps, color lookups, and photo filters. Right, cool. So let's move on. Um, sorry to interrupt, but yeah, let's move on to using photos, um, bruh, photos bash, photo bashing. Okay, so I'm gonna save this. Uh, and yeah, so if you guys have made some stuff, yeah, you can um, you can show it on uh, the workshop chat space channel, or you know even even here on Google Meetup if you want. Cool. So let's move on to um, actually. Let's move on to doing brush strokes because I think it's uh, it's more simpler first and it's more easier, right? So the brush the brush stroke technique, <laughs> which I would call it, is simply you're simply using a hard round brush and you have the pen pressure control on. So again, it's like this 
I'm also just going to change the setting on my brush uh, with the spacing to 1% like so and you're basically doing one stroke, one stroke, one stroke and create a dragon body so for example I'm gonna maybe go like oof, like this okay I don't know why it's, uh, I don't know why it's doing this So you you want to like use speed and maybe go like you know it's like it's like you're doing like a signature you're you're creating like a signature um, because it had speeds and if you had speed while doing it it gives you this kind of um, you know big brush to small brush kind of gradient in here like it gives some sharpness to it and so. Let's say you, you know, maybe do a one stroke, like so, and you don't like it, then on Photoshop or on other softwares, if you go and press Control Z on your keyboard, you basically go back one step. And you just keep doing this until you find a good kind of shape. That kind of, you know, looks like a, looks like a dragon or something that you can imagine to make it look like a dragon. Okay. Oh, so that was close. Right. And let's say you you let's say you're happy with this, then you create a new layer and create another one too. So you're basically making maybe three or four different um, brush strokes that you can use or that you can review and then see which one will like, you know, work and make it look like a dragon. So it's a very simple technique. But again, like, um, it can be hard because sometimes there are shapes that you, don't, you might not like uh, when you're doing it. <laughs> so like, uh, yeah, it's just, I would say just like have fun <laughs> and like just see what kind of shape will like come up. Mm, okay. All right. So let's say um I have these two shapes. I have this shape, and then I'm just gonna move this one here, and I have this shape. I mean, they kind of look really similar. Uh, <laughs> maybe I don't know why. Uh, but so the trick is, so once you have these two shapes, and I kind of like maybe this one, so I'm like, I might just go with this one. The trick here is to use the transform tool. So when you press Control T uh, when you're on the layer, you select the object, and immediately you can by pressing Control on your keyboard, you can you know you can distort like this. So this is one way of distorting, like so. Or if you right click, or I'm not sure how it is on an iPad or um, a tablet, but if you right click, there's a an option called Warp. And I think if it's on a creator, I think it's Mesh. But if you go in this, you get this kind of grid popping up. And the pretty cool thing about this is you can like, yeah, Warp the object. You can transform the object. Like this, so you can like just literally you can uh, hello hello yeah sorry I can, yeah I can hear you. I'm oh, sorry I got the mute sorry. Ah, that's good. Yeah, yeah. So I like, come. Um, yeah, so you can use the warp tool too if if you don't like um, your shape. <laughs> but yeah, so you can use that. Um, that's one thing you can do. Another thing is what I like to do is try and find where the head and the tail is for the dragon. So 
maybe for me, um, maybe the head. It could be, um, yeah, it could be here actually. <laughs> so like, you know, the dragon butt is here. You have the face here, maybe. Um, so if that's the case, then I want to try and distort, change the shape to make it kind of look, you know, appealing, um, to make it look um, look like there is a head and a tail. So again, I use the work tool and you want to kind of faintly change um, the shape like this. Yeah, this is yeah. That's kind of too much what I did here. So I'm just gonna. Yeah, yeah. Maybe this one. This might work. Uh, I might just slightly change here. Yeah. And I'm just gonna do a final check to see whether or not this part, if it looks good with the head or not. Um, yeah. Right. Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, hmm. Yeah, now I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to this one. Because I want to have like a like a back view of a dragon because I haven't had you know, I haven't I haven't done it from workshop for this one. Cool. So when you've done that, when you've kind of transformed your dragon, um Sure. Now you want to um, add some meat. You want to add some meat and muscles on top of your brushstroke. So for me, because I know that this part's going to be the head and this part's going to be the tail, and again, you might want to um, have your reference photos maybe um, next to you. You want to start painting in and I'm using a you know a hard round brush again but not using this pen pressure person. I'm using this brush the same brush to add uh, to add definition so you know, maybe this part is the head so I'm just gonna make it kind of small the reason why I'm gonna make the head small than here is because of perspective so the more far away uh, an object is, the, the more smaller it will look. Uh, the more closer an object is, the more bigger it will look. So it's the same, you know, idea with this. And while I'm painting in where the head and the, where the tail is and where the whole body structure is, uh, you also want to try and be careful and focus on the angle of your dragon. So what, what I mean is that you know this part, the head, is kind of looking like towards the right and yeah, it's kind of hard if I just explain it by words but I'm just gonna add a red highlight color. So with my eyes it there's like a flow. Like it looks like it's going like this um, doo -doo 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 -doo. and this part like I'm just kind of I'm getting confused because because it's too thin but I think yeah hang on a minute um, yeah so like that that maybe has a bit of a maybe has it has a bit of a twist so it's like going like that 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 so what i mean is the flow um on how the body is you know directing like even for a snake you know 
you can see it's going like um, yeah you can see it's going like this 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 then it's going like this so yeah try and for, like yeah it'll, I think it will be it will be hard for um, beginners um, oh yeah I just saw your um, your work Mercy that's really cool <laughs> nice dragon <laughs> yeah that's a cool dragon you have. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I will work on this later. <laughs> to that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Sorry. Yeah. What was it? Let's see. Um. So yeah. So let's say um I I have um maybe like maybe it could be like a sea dragon. You know. Maybe it doesn't have any like um arms, but it has like these kind of fins. Like, yeah. You know fish kind of fins. So I'm focusing on the direction on where the fin, so where the back, where the spine is. Because if you know where the spine is and when you draw it on here, um, it gives more like a good uh, 3D kind of dimensional look. So look, so it will look more uh, 3D rather than it will look 2D. So it wouldn't look flat. If that makes sense. Um, yeah. And another thing is um, because because the the tail here is more closer to you. Let's say. Let's say you have a camera and you you took this photo here. So obviously the the tail would look much more bigger than the head because you know like uh, you have the eye like this and you know maybe around the head maybe you have some like you know massive kind of trees or something you know. So that's why it looks more um, it looks more smaller. So it's the same thing, even with spikes too or fins. I would say is because right now you you you're gradually getting closer and closer towards you. The fins are also kind of getting bigger and bi well, it'll look more bigger and bigger. But not for every fin, uh, which is kind of hard to explain because even for a tail. Like, like here, like a lizard, for example. Yeah, it's getting smaller and smaller. The the size is gradually getting smaller. And the same for spikes too. So, yeah, you want to try and also keep that in mind while making fins. I mean, yeah, you don't have to do fins uh, because they are they are pretty hard at first. But I think it's all just like, you know, getting used to it, so have fun. Uh, there you go. So yeah, l like how I was looking with the lizard here, like if you look at the tail, like at the end of the tail, yeah, you don't have any spikes, you don't have any like, uh, fins. So you know, you can see like I'm just gradually, gradually just getting smaller and smaller, just like, phase out. And maybe I want to um you want to maybe decide where the most you know climax part is like where like the, there's like the most biggest kind of place where you can show you the fin is and for me maybe it's like you know maybe it's here it could be here um, or maybe around here like. Maybe it's right here. Could be like right here. Like this. Yeah, like that. Okay. 
So yeah, let's say you've added some kind of you know fin to it, some kind of like back kind of um, spine to your dragon. You want to also now focus on creating more like fat. So you want to add some fat onto your dragon. So, for example, maybe like you know, uh, maybe I think uh, when it comes to dragons, like again, I'm looking at maybe a Komodo dragon, for example, or even a lizard. They tend to have like the stomach, the belly is pretty fat. It's more fatter compared to the tail, but then the head part is also yeah quite fat too. The mass is different. So you want to have that in mind. Yeah, try and have that in mind and create fat onto your dragon. Okay. So So right now I'm gradually and gradually just getting much more larger and larger. this because I think yeah this part I'm like looking um, how to say one is like perspective angles another one is you know it's like maybe the center part of the belly <laughs> maybe so this is where like the main kind of stomach activity happens so you know it's kind of like that Then you want to just add more and more. Like so. Another cool tip. Well, it's not really a tip. I think I showed you guys like on the, on the, the last of tool one is. Yeah, try and add the the details on the belly part too. Okay, so maybe like I'll give you like an example maybe. Let's say um I'm gonna put like beetle. Nah not these cars. Uh sorry. These ones here. <laughs> it's like huh? <laughs> uh yeah or like um Yeah, these are pretty cool. And actually, um, how do you call uh, millipedes? Not military beetles. Uh, millipedes. Mini? Sorry, I think my spelling's wrong. Millipedes. Yeah. Um, so yeah, these they're really cool. Like they're like armors and armors or like you know shells and yeah, this is pretty cool. And yeah, sorry if some of you might hate bugs, but <laughs> but yeah, like these are cool for like references. So yeah. Wait, um, can I ask a question? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, so like you know how you make the dragon shape of the body, like yeah, you know that like pen, like how do you do it? Cause I have photo P. Photo photo P. Yeah. Right. Um, it's like Photoshop. Yeah. Like the exact same tool. Okay. So do you so do you have like um. Do you have like. These kind of default brushes. Um. Yeah. yeah. So, so to make this, you have to. You want to create a new layer. Mhm. Mm and when you basically want to go and draw in one stroke, like like that. So it's like you're drawing it, your um, you're doing a signature, like you're doing your own, you know, signature. Like uh, <laughs> I'm trying to draw my signature like that. So you want to go really fast, and it's yeah. it's, it's like you're scribbling, yeah. 
so you didn't like that and when you do this I think I have like a yeah so when you do that you want to know where your dragon's head and the dragon's tail is okay mm -hmm. so let's say let's say uh, Mm. Yeah, so let's say I want to have the head on here and I want to have the tail on here So I want to, using the same layer, I want to draw It, has, yeah, it can be really simple Or if you have photos next to you, this will be really helpful because you can try and copy like a head or maybe like a snake head okay and draw the head like this and you want to slowly you want to add more and more and more paintings so you want to add more and more brush strokes onto your onto your dragon okay and if you want um you know because dragons like you know, they might have some spikes or it could be like kind of blocky kind of these shapes yeah yeah so you want to add these so yeah so you want to know first where your head and where your tail is yeah okay. yeah and then after that you can add these details yeah yeah so it's yeah so when you add um, details then it will look more and more you know more like a dragon like this okay. yeah thank you yep yeah, no worries yeah you, um, you can show me like you know what you have too if you want um, so yeah don't be shy <laughs> yeah um, and so yeah so Let's say these bugs, yeah, so they have like these shells, like they, they look like armors. Um, so you want to have the same thing happening. Well, I want to have the same thing happening on my dragon, on the stomach part, so on the bottom part of the dragon. So let's say I'm going to merge these two layers so I'm gonna um, press shift key to select my other layer and I'm going to hit Control E to put it together and I'm going to use an eraser tool so uh, yeah this tool here a rubber tool to put in small details like this Once you've done that, you can uh, you can feel free to um, again distort. You can distort your dragon maybe, and you know just change how it looks. So maybe I might actually want to show more of the head. So I might just you know. 
uh, I could maybe change it like this. And then I can again just paint on top. Uh, you know, just see what kind of cool shape I can you know, get. And once you've done that, I am just gonna add an eye just to make it look cool. So yeah, so I'm just gonna add one eye here. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so interesting when you just have a silhouette and mm. some shapes, mm. what your brain is, you know, um, <laughs> looking for, like interpreting it. Oh, and yeah. What's trying to see it, yeah. even if it's just the shadow. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So, exactly. It's really fun. Yeah. Yeah, so that's why I was like, oh, because I just imagine it looks some kind like Haku from Spirited Away. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it does actually. Yeah, yeah. But when you say that, it does. <laughs> it actually does. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's true. Uh, and I think it's really um cool just working with silhouettes, like you said, because it really plays with your mind. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, you you can actually create some really a uh, complex. Um, really like kind of detailed uh, silhouette which already looks good uh, mm. <laughs> just by just you know um, rubbing out subtracting and adding parts and so on <laughs> mm. yeah for me the interesting part is you know I see the haku now but maybe mm. someone else would see something different yeah in it. yeah so Exa that's exactly. really fun yeah it really is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the magic, I think, with uh, with silhouettes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. True, true. Yep. Um, so, so yeah. So this is um, just using just brush strokes. Uh, I'm not gonna go into um, adding color and lighting because one, I've already done for this one, and two, we're kind of running out of time. So I'm gonna go on to the final one, if that's okay with you guys. Do you guys also have any questions so far? Are you guys okay? I'm good. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Okay. Great. Cool. Cool. So no questions I guess then so far. Right. Um, so the next one is using photos. Photos. Okay. So when I what I mean by using photos is so I'm just gonna show you one thing. Uh, so this, this one, I use photos, but not exactly like using the details or like, you know, the lighting from the photos, but it's more about using the silhouettes of these photos. So if I break this down, so I have this, and to create this silhouette, I basically used all different types of let's say photos of just you know PNG uh, black silhouettes of different things like this I think uh, maybe this one sorry yeah so these ones here and it's like a combination of just you know, using bits, bits and bobs, small parts to maybe create something like this. Oh, yeah, man, hike. That's that's really cool, actually. I like the shape mm -hmm. language. That's really nice. Like, um, I don't know. I don't know why it kind of like reminds me of like Mortal Kombat, <laughs> um, the game. <laughs> <laughs> that's a nice one you have. <laughs> Um, let me, let me, let me see, let me see, no, not, not the millipede, um, copy, 
no, not, not the bug. Um, save image. Ah, there you go. Sorry, I'm just gonna. I just wanna see. Uh, no, not the bug. I'm trying to like copy the image, but it's not. <laughs> ah, there you go. Yeah. So Hello, like that. everyone. Like that. Cool. Um. Yeah, actually, that's really cool. Um, yeah, I like the, I like the kind of shape you have here. That's this kind of rounding kind of. Yeah, that kind of like, how do you say, Uzumaki spiral kind of shape. And then you know, you've defined um, the stomach part too, so that's really cool. And I think like, um, what you could do with this if you have uh, more time is. Uh, let's see even for this one like you could add uh, shadows so maybe you could use a soft brush um, then you know, maybe pick a color maybe this and uh, let's say the shadow again is coming from the top part maybe from the top left part so just wanna uh, use a multiply layer and let's try and find the shadow like this so maybe down here too here. Uh, maybe this part on this uh, on this side So I did it really like briefly, but yeah, it's like that, 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 and you can add like a simple, you know, lighting by uh, uh, choosing a paint bucket tool using a color dodge. And I think, I, yeah, I showed you this technique maybe like uh, about half a year ago, maybe <laughs> I'm not sure, but and then uh, use a color dodge. Sorry. Then, you know, oh, that was too too bright. And yeah, just you know, you can go and add some highlights. So kind of pops, like so. So from here to like that. It kind of gives like a more dynamic kind of mood. So yeah, light lighting really helps a lot. Cool though, that's really cool, man. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um. Sorry, where about was I? This part. Yeah. So even for this, um, to so combine different photos, and then, yeah, no worries, man. And then I I added this painting, just pure. Just pure painting. Shadow. Colors. Like that. So we're gonna do the same thing, just like this process. Right. Um so let's for example it actually doesn't have to be um photos that are related to um, dragons <laughs> but it will be better you know so let's say I'm just gonna type in bat um, bat silhouette PNG and then you want to try and find you don't you don't want to choose photos that are like this like you know the Batman logo <laughs> No, <laughs> don't use these. Man. Um, actually, in fact, maybe flying, or maybe just delete the PNG word and just put bat silhouette. Yeah. See, these ones are good because they have different types of shapes. Even this one too. 
you have different types of shapes. Um, so I like this one. So I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it in here. Oops. Okay. That didn't work. So I'm going to open image, copy image, paste. Okay. That, 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 that didn't work. So what I'm going to do is, I don't know if you guys know this uh, app called Snipping Tool. Maybe say for Windows, but it's just, you know, it kind of just grabs print screens, screen captures, what you have. Yeah. That uh, way life is more easier. Yeah. <laughs> so you have, let's say, a bat. And maybe I might want to get like a lizard silhouette. Yeah, so you don't you don't want to you don't want to like find these kind of like you know, what well, like Aboriginal kind of pattern silhouettes. You want to find more like you know these ones because they have different types of you know shapes and uh, different types of angles. Yeah, these ones are cool. Maybe like a, I'm gonna put a bug actually or insect. I think these are really cool, like it have like the interesting shape. Um, if I can find it. I think maybe a beetle because insect is too broad. Yeah, but I think beetles are pretty cool. Uh, oh why not maybe a, a stack beetle? Hmm. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I like this. Right. So, right, there we have. Uh, maybe one more. Yeah, maybe I might go with a fish. So, fish silhouette. Um, or maybe a um, uh, shark. Let's see what comes up with the shark. Ah, yeah, that's cool. So, that's pretty cool. Alright, so I have. I don't know how many photos I have, but. So oh yeah, I have these photos. Obviously, like you know, you have these kind of free stock kind of uh, <laughs> things. <laughs> but you know, I'm doing this as an educational purpose. So yeah, please don't say to the police. Uh, yeah, I'm joking. But <laughs> um, so the first thing I do is once you have like images, once you have these kind of uh, silhouettes inside. You want to make them black and white. So you want to make them like a like a vector. Um, so what I do is I do Control L to open the Levels tool and see this uh, middle parameter here. I just you know hit it up, just bump it up to black. And once I do that. Uh, there's a tool called the magic wand tool so if I click on one it automatically selects this part because it's all in black and the cool thing is if I go and p press right click there should be a tool called similar if I click on that it selects all the ones which have a similar value or a similar color and once I do this I press Control X to cut out the selection and Control V to paste the selection. So now I don't need this anymore. So I can just delete. And there you have you have a clean clean cut selection like this. Although it's not really clean because you you can still see like slightly like um, uh, white outlines. So after you've done that. I like to do Control U to open the hue and saturation tool, and the lightness here is bump it down to minus hundred, and that should do the trick. So I do this to the other photos. So let's do this if you guys haven't done it already. So Control L to open the levels tool, slide it to where it looks like completely back. And then the magic wand tool to select uh, the black objects. Similar, Control X, cut, 
Control V paste. Control U to hue saturation and bump the brightness down. So yeah, just do the same thing. Boom. Like this, maybe this. This similar cut paste hue saturation lightness down. Same thing. Similar cut paste and hue saturation lightness down. Okay. So once you've done that, yeah you have like so many different toys, so you have like a different kind of selections of you know these things they look like, like stickers <laughs> like, like you know yeah, you can buy them in like what the museums or I don't know <laughs> I, I have no idea why I'm like why I'm matching that but yeah right so once you have this I like to do this is for me this is really fun um, so what I like to do is I use the magic wand tool well, first of all, I'll use just a normal selection tool, and I like to basically pick maybe like one for each, or maybe three, or you know, four different um, silhouettes at least to use it for like one dragon silhouette. So before I do that, I create a group. I'm just gonna just call it one, just in case, because I'll be doing a lot of like um, copy and pasting, so the layer will be like too much. Right. So, I like to start off with maybe like, um, you know, maybe this guy. This guy looks pretty cool. I like the shape. So, I use a magic wand tool. I select it. And instead of cutting it out, I do Control C to copy. And I just go to the group and paste. Because I don't want to cut it out, otherwise, I, I can't have backup. Like, I might be using a backup later on. So, that's why I always just copy it just in case something happens um, safety measures yeah so the same thing um, so maybe maybe this nah, maybe this one so I like the shape so I might choose this um, control paste and I'll just drag it here I also like um, yeah, because I'm not, I'm not good at hands, <laughs> so I do like this, so I'm going to magic wand, select, copy, and paste. So I have these. Um, sharks, uh, maybe, maybe I might use one of it, um, maybe this one, maybe this one, control, C to copy and control V to paste. Yeah. Um, maybe for this one, I'm, I'm going to use the bats for uh, the wings. So, yeah, maybe um, I like this one. And I like maybe this one. I'm just gonna copy and paste. So in fact, I have <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven, seven different silhouettes in here. Uh, much than I thought it was, but yeah, why not? So for the other ones, I'm just gonna hide it. Simply just hide it. Cool. Right. So now it's it's basically just like um, adding the puzzle pieces together. So, think of how a dragon for you will look like. Um, and even better, if you're stuck on how a dragon will look like, um, you can. Wait a minute. Why is this browser open? You can go on Google and search in dragon. Yeah. And then see what kind of dragon like there is. See what type of dragon there is. 
but I think like um, for Google search, you might want to put in like a dragon, uh, maybe you know art station or um, illustration. And then yeah, you have so many different cool examples of yeah dragons. Like you know, this is a cool kind of humanoid kind of you know, not humanoid, but yeah, cool dragon. You have these kind of realistic dragons, um, and then you have these you know snake-like kind of dragons, and so on. So you can even just again just uh, have these, yeah, have these as reference. Like you can, for example, just copy it. Like I'm not exactly going to copy the actual uh, shape or the thing, but I can just use this as a reference. So I just have it you know, beside me like this and then I can always see how a dragon will look I mean, although this maybe is not like a typical kind of dragon that you'll see but still yeah I think it's pretty cool okay so any questions so far you guys okay like, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this like in a bit um, because yeah like running out of time but if you guys have any questions, just again, feel feel free to ask me. And also, I think in five minutes time, like uh, I think this call is gonna like <laughs> finish automatically. So I'm gonna uh, open up an, uh, another new link for it. I think there's like a how many? Two minutes. Sorry, there's the only two minutes. I the final countdown. <laughs> yeah, yeah, two two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yeah, we have to, you know, take advantage of the free option on Google Meet, <laughs> oh, so oh, that's yeah. fine. <laughs> yeah, 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 sorry about that. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll uh, open up a new thing for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> um, yeah, so, um, yeah, so basically, I, I like to, you know, have different toys you know I have different toys here so I like to choose which one will work with which one um, but you don't have to use everything on here like let's say um, even with, with this insect I just like to use this part or I just like to use just you know this part so I can just copy it paste it and you know, change the shape or make it larger or something. Okay, so we're gonna do that first. Um, so I'm gonna use maybe this one first. And again, the reason why I made a group is because not only did I um, copy, uh, cut and paste it, I'm also <laughs> gonna copy this image, uh, copy this layer again, just to have it as a backup. Uh, like this. Okay. The reason why is because now I want to distort the image um, to how I want it to look. Okay. So maybe Yeah, don't be sorry. <laughs> Screw Google. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I think what maximum was like what two, three hours, and then from there it's like every what thirty minutes or something. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna, where's my screen? Uh, where's it gone? Oh yeah, oh yeah. My screen is already on there. Cool. <laughs> cool. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna wait for everyone to just return back. So I'm gonna just continue. Oh, here you go. Um, I need to just. I might just change this to. Um, I'm just changing the settings right now. Yep. There you go. Cool. So everyone's kind of back, I guess. Cool. Uh, nice. Cool. <laughs> right. 
Yeah, so I like to distort the image first. Um, so maybe, yeah, flip horizontal. I'm gonna maybe turn it a bit big. And yeah, again, I'm not exactly like looking at this right now. I'm just having it as like a like a reference. That's it. I'm not like exactly copying anything. But yeah, let's just see what kind of thing I can I can get from this. Okay, so. Maybe um, maybe this already is like a body, like a body. Um, so I'll use like a work tool for this, and I'm gonna slowly just change the design. This and it's going to elongate it, or maybe <coughs> it's going to use a work tool again. And I like to try and find the curve. Do I hear an angry bird in the background? <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> my, my small little white angry bird. <laughs> yeah. Cute. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okome, she's called. <laughs> Mascot number one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lovely little fluffy bird. Mm. That I guess there used to be dinosaurs. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Cool. So I just made like a base of a shape, and and the reason why I you know use maybe this, I could maybe um, I'm gonna just copy a lot of this but uh, yeah so maybe it could be like um, a skeletal structure of maybe the wings so maybe this one has like you know um, proper like European European style wings <laughs> um, oops so I'm gonna use a warp tool again this Again, I, I think um, yeah, I'm just gonna close this one. Yeah. So I think it's cool to have big wings. Yeah, so like this maybe. Um, and I'm just gonna add a warp tool to and somewhere like this. Yeah, and mind you, I'm um, I'm only making the skeletal part of this, so maybe um, yeah, might have to do something on here. And I'm gonna uh, flip it. And yeah, I'm using a dragon shark. No, uh, <laughs> that would be really weird. <laughs> yeah, so. Alright, so once I've done that part, uh, it's not like, you know, the wings aren't finished. Uh, so maybe I might use this one again. And this one, uh, this time, um, it could be, it could be the, the horns. You know, <laughs> it could be horns. So one here, maybe. and you want to use a work tool. Or maybe, 
yeah, they could be pretty like um, these horns. They could be like really deadly, uh, like antler horns. You know, so yeah, they could be pretty big. Um, but then again, I think it's kind of hard to see as a silhouette, so I might um, put it a bit more smaller. Or uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna just resize it, deform it a bit, like this, and maybe with this one. Yeah, I'm just going to distort it. Um, and add like a like a head. If you see what I see. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so then I'm just going to But I don't like these kind of like ears. <laughs> the table did like reindeer ears, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna delete. <laughs> it looks weird. Well, it looks cute, I guess, but I don't want cute. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, maybe around here. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna actually. Um, come on. One, two, one, two. There we go. So I'm gonna merge these two together and I'm gonna elongate it a bit. I mean, this could be pretty cool actually um, as a design. So one here, another one could be um, the opposite. To have it maybe um, maybe here, but you don't want to have um, too much repetition because it would look really boring as a design, um, as an artistic kind of design. Yeah, maybe around here. <coughs> um, and I still do like these. Uh, stags, these horns. So I'm gonna use this again and flip it. I just want to see what I can get with this. Maybe uh, I just thought it would just make life more easy if I um, if I just cut this part in half. So it could be like some kind of like insect dragon kind of creature, maybe, which is interesting. Flip it. Yeah. Smur um, distort it a bit. <laughs> I was gonna say like, uh, if I um, if I only had this, it's like uh, you know, it's like tele telemarketing. Um, <laughs> how do you call it? Gadgets, where. Use it as like a microphone. 
<laughs> yeah. I was like, okay. Some like serious business going on here. Um yeah. So then Yeah, so let's say with these wings, I can still, you know, use something for these wings. So I'm just gonna either experiment with it by copy and pasting or I can just use this as it is by by let's say if I if I like, make it kind of just distort it like so and you want to try and see like you know, if it works or not but Again, I'm just experimenting with it right now. So I'm going to put it on here. I'm going to use a work tool. Yeah. Um, and then I'm just going to see if there's any cool kind of design I can use for the wings. Uh, you know, if 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 you don't have any um, cool kind of thing, then you, know, you can even flip it the other way, like this. And use the work tool again. Yeah, yeah. You you wanna say something or? Or, oh, are you gonna leave or? <laughs> yeah. Um, say, for example, I have this. Maybe something on here too. Like that. And this, this actually, this is pretty cool. Like. Um, it could be like um, the spikes, the spikes of the dragon silhouette. Um, yeah, I'm gonna uh, delete this shark fin because it's just really bothering me. Is it is it a shark? Is it a dragon? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. A shargon. <laughs> yeah, shargon. <laughs> it's like wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, Adam. I'm like um, I'm. Like, this is actually my last uh, silhouette I'm doing actually. Um, but yeah, thank you for joining. And uh, I'm drawing a uh, a shargon. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah! Oh yeah! A combination of a dragon and a dragon, a, sh a shark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, okay. Like, <laughs> yeah. Um, and also, yeah. So even for these spikes again, just uh, just be careful of the um, the perspectives. So you know, you wanna just find the flow on where your uh, spikes are leading. <clears throat> and I also wanna. Have maybe this part pretty big, or maybe it come. Um... Ah, yeah, this is cool. You so you wanna just try and find cool um, shape language too. So obviously you don't wanna repeat the same kind of pattern. You wanna try and break it down, uh, break it apart. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Maybe I might move it a bit more. Yeah, here. Um. Maybe this one could be more smaller, like so. Um. <clears throat> let's 
just gonna. Uh, you know, I could have left it, but yeah, I just wanna make it clear as a dragon kind of creature. Uh, and then maybe this one. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. No, there you go. There you go. Okay. Yeah. So even for the legs, that's why I I got these. Um, yeah, you can call me cheating, but why not? It's faster. So I have these. I have I have these legs. Oh, poor lizard. He has like no like no right arm. <laughs> yeah. Poor lizard. Thank you for your right arm or left arm, whichever it is. And yeah, one thing I can do is yeah, I could easily just you know add it on here if I want, if it looks cool. Um, so yeah, why not? Let's let's do that first. So let's say I I'll have it around here maybe. Once you do that, I'm just gonna warp it, and I'm gonna one. I'm gonna stretch it like that. Two. Yeah, it doesn't. It looks kind of ugly because it's just too static. So I'm gonna one. I'm gonna you know, put it big, a bit. Change the size a bit. Maybe with this one, like, could I come? Um, oh yeah, that actually looks cool. But sadly, because of the silhouette, you can't see the shape. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, yeah, put it around here, and maybe this one. I can use it. Well, actually. I'm gonna copy this one again. And yeah. It's like um armor plates, like you know you have like a like, yeah, it's like it's plates. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to find him, um, trying to find like a cool silhouette. So always just you know uh, use a work tool and like it's like a a journey of trial and error. So yeah, yeah. I made it. I made his arm a bit more thin because yeah, it's kind of a bit fat. So like did that. Uh, which one do I have right now? This, this, and this. So I'm gonna. Uh, put these layers like next to each other, and I'm gonna merge it by pressing Control E. So I basically just merged these layers together. Then I'm gonna press Control J to duplicate the layer. Flip it by uh, right clicking, and when you find this, just go to flip horizontal, uh, like so. And then, yeah, I'm just gonna try and find. Somewhere else. Yeah. Mm. yeah, could be here, maybe. I mean, that's a good, a good thing about silhouettes. Like, you know, if if this was not in silhouette, then it would look ugly as hell. So even for uh, the legs, I can actually just. You know, I might I may be able to fluke it just by just by doing that. Or I'm going to um I'm gonna just cut out this one because I don't need it I don't need it anymore. Uh flip it. Or I'm just gonna yeah, stay with the same thing. Um this yeah, this looks cool. I like the I like the silhouette in here. Merge it together. And then again, just find like find a cool place. Yeah, 
Yeah, why not? Um, maybe a bit more down. Maybe there. Yeah, that could work. Yep, yeah, cool. And I'm gonna use this. Mm. Whoop. Crazy wings, um, not like the typical wings you see. Yeah, it doesn't that doesn't look good. So I'm gonna uh, not have that wing. I'm gonna have uh, this wing maybe. But I'm kind of lazy, so what I'm gonna do is let's go this one, this one. So I'm gonna merge these two wings together and. Again, I'm just going to use the work tool. Or, there's another cool trick you can do on Photoshop. And sorry guys if you don't have this um, feature. But what you do is you select your object. And then, no sorry, you don't have to select your object. You, after you select your layer, you go to edit. And you should see a option called puppet work. And I'm not sure if you have this on like Procreate or you know, Krita or um, other softwares, but when you click it, you get this kind of polygon kind of dimensional shape, yeah, wireframe going on. So the cool thing about this is you can pin places like this. And when I pin this, I can like move move it in a controllable way like this so yeah that could be like um, one way of doing it I guess so maybe this maybe this now after I do this I use the work tool again and I can, you know, just edit. Or you can just uh, use the razor, maybe. And just, you know, make it more into like a wing shape if you want. Yeah. You can also uh, duplicate it maybe resize it um, you know, change the width like this and then you know add like more interest onto your wings for example And if it looks too um, static, like you know, you have a straight line, you can always just change it like this. For example, like that. Yeah. Um, and then once you've done that, I can just, you know, put it on the opposite way, like this. Maybe, you know. Put it around here. Oops. Like this, maybe. Yeah. Something nice. Yeah. Yeah, so. Looks. I would say it looks kind of okay. Like, you know, like. Well, fifty percent finished um, in terms of the silhouette, but because yeah, um, because of the time, I am going to now. I'm just going to do like a quick kind of finishing touch to it, so I'm going to merge the silhouette. So 
I have this. I have one single layer. So I just want to maybe you know uh, add like a create like a small scene. So let's say this is like um, kind of like a night kind of I don't know day scene maybe. So just gonna put it around here. The lighting. Um, you know, maybe this dragon dude, like he's like either standing on some kind of piles of rock or like a castle, maybe. So I'm just gonna add that in. Um, maybe I might just, yeah, put the lighting slightly up, and then I'm just gonna, you know, paint some kind of. Castle or some, or maybe like a rock or something. Yeah, it could be like a castle, um, like top of a castle or something. Yeah, could be something like that, maybe. I don't know. Uh, I'm just gonna reposition it around the middle, maybe <laughs> like this. Just to make it more like a um, track, uh, like a castle shape. I'm just gonna you know, just put it more. Mm. Or if not, I'm just gonna put the opacity kind of down. Just to just show, like simply, like the dragon is the main focus, uh, like so. Um, maybe add some just few, you know, just few holes. This and there, just to like something like this, yes. Um, maybe I think the this castle looks a bit small. <laughs> no, um, sorry, the dragon looks a bit small. So I might either reposition him first, maybe like this. And then the castle, it's gonna Put it maybe around here, slightly, <laughs> slightly tilted maybe. Like maybe like this, could work, maybe not. <laughs> but yeah, I don't want to be picky in this part because like you know, <laughs> the castle isn't my main. <laughs> focus of this workshop so um, I'm, just, I'm just gonna I'm gonna just try and make it kind of vertical in some sense. Hmm? Yeah there you go. Maybe you're this sort of like that. Yeah might work. Um, Something like that, I guess. Cool. And then, you know, dragons and Europe or, um, <laughs> well, you know, Games of Thrones or whatever, you know, they like to, like, breathe fire. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's very, very, um, <laughs> generic. But, yeah, why not? Dragons, they breathe fire. So, let's add some fire. Boom, you know, just, just dragon battle, you know, just 
like I'm not um, I'm not really detailing too much because I can always uh, select this and distort it. So I'm just doing that. And I'm just going to hide, yeah, just going to put it in here, work it again. Yeah, it might be like, I don't know, could look like it's like throwing some fire or something. And then, you know, add a bit of lighting maybe, just to like pop the scene. So, you know, you could uh, have like a, <laughs> add a moon or um, something. Um, but you don't want to have it like pure white. Maybe around here. Uh, what's this one? Ah, this one. Yeah, I don't need this for it now. What, what else do I have here? Ah, yeah, this could do the trick. So I don't really need this anymore. So I'm just going to add some fog or like sky by just <laughs> by just distorting this like this. There you go. And I'm just going to put the opacity down. Add, um, add a blur, a Gaussian blur, maybe, and again, uh, distort it again. So just gonna do that, maybe, um, put it vertical, maybe, Yeah. Eh, maybe something like this. <laughs> like only a small fraction of it. Um Yeah. <laughs> Why not just for the just for the sky? Up recycling. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Good for the earth. <laughs> um yeah, and then maybe Oh yeah, maybe I can use this one for something, so I'm just gonna Hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm gonna do. It's like boom, just, just you know, just <laughs> randomly like, just make it big, and then see what I can do with this. Actually, yeah, I I do like it. I do kind of like this kind of setup, maybe. <laughs> yeah, cool. And then lastly, I'm just gonna add some lighting. So you know. Like I showed you guys on my, uh, I think my previous um, method. So, what's this? Yeah, black, color dodge. And then use a soft brush. First, I'm just gonna, ooh, yeah, that was too big. Uh, I need to put on the pen pressure tool. So, I'm just gonna faintly do this. Another thing you can do is on the layers, if you press, if you hit control key and then select your layer, you you get this kind of, the cursor changes into this kind of you know, weird thing. And then when you press it, you get to, con uh, you get to select your selected uh, layer object. And then, you know, I could, I could add some lighting in here, maybe, maybe in here. Maybe on here, but yeah, I might want to have it more dynamic with the lighting. So maybe add a. Add a bit of detail, I guess. <clears throat> I 
uh, you know, maybe some lighting re reflection from the fire um, on the legs, some on the um, spikes. Yeah, maybe right here. And then, you know, the lighting, which is cool, is, you know, you, you get to also define some detail. Uh, yeah, a bit of, bit of detail, so... You might want to add a bit, maybe. And then hide, you know, a few parts. Like that. like that, maybe. And then you can also change, uh, shift your brush to maybe a soft brush again. And then just enhance the lighting like this. And you don't want to press it too hard like that. You just want to press it faintly like a baby. Yeah. Maybe add some uh, oh, lighting on here too. So you know, so if you have some lighting here, you would have some reflection on the wings too. So. And maybe for this one, like you, you might want to use like hard brush, and then instead of using the pen pressure one, you can just have like um, you know this this one, this pressure one. So the difference is this. And yeah, put this one on. It's different. And I'm just gonna again select the dragon. And I'm gonna like add some rim light. So rim light, uh, you know, it's kind of like the highlights that reflects pretty hard. Oops. Maybe um, maybe there's some you know lighting on here too. Some here, some parts on here. And maybe slightly on on the horns maybe. Slightly in here. Slightly in here. And then you can you know just adjust the opacity a bit. Uh oh yeah, eyes. I forgot that, so I'm just gonna add maybe like an eye. Or if not, add a new layer and then yeah, I like a I like a. I maybe some maybe some teeth. I have no idea. Maybe we might have we might not. Yeah. And you know, lastly ah, maybe not. Yeah, so just add some nuance and, and finally you can add some gradient map. Put on reverse. Uh maybe change it to soft light. And then add some add some color. So hmm. yeah, this is pretty cool. I, I like that one. Yeah. Hmm. 
shiny. <laughs> mm, yeah. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> um, and yeah. So yeah, there you go. Like, you know, um, some kind of dragon in a scene, just putting some, firing up the light, firing up the, the scene, the castle, whatever. Like that. Um, and yeah, so that's for the photo bash thing. So I did a photo bash uh, method. Um, a brush stroke method and a lasso tool method and that is that for the workshop guys um, if you have any questions now's the time <laughs> you guys good <laughs> <laughs> yeah thank you yeah um I don't know for the for the last technique we oh, used. Oh, yeah. I mean, this I don't know if you if this is a helpful question mm -hmm. or anything. But do you have like a recommendation yeah. to train this? Because for me, it's pretty tough to see these in brackets like finished yeah. silhouettes and then make a puzzle out of it. Oh, um, uh, uh, oh yeah, for this one, right? Yeah. Um. Hang on a minute. So for this one, right? Mm. Yeah. Um, I would say for training. Um, so I think like I showed you. Um, which one was it? Ah, yeah. So sorry. Yeah. So I think that, like I was explaining earlier on, where you look at just first of all, just uh, get tons of reference first of just dragons, and then like focus on the shape first. Sorry, that's my birdie. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. And you know, like let's say, all right. So let's. I'll give you a good example. If I go on, if I type in dragon, an art station maybe, um, I'm just gonna hide this part. So yeah. So you have different shapes. You, know, you have these kind of shapes, these kind of shapes, these kind of shapes. Mm -hmm. And when you when you look at these, when you study um, dragons or, or anything really, like you try and break it down into like smaller things like into like more simpler things so like for example for me like when I look at this I can see like this artist um, maybe used um, inspirations from goldfishes like fish mm -hmm. um, maybe lizards like Komodo dragons uh, uh, snakes and you know maybe like a deer for example so you you want to kind of try and uh, think in that kind of mindset where you just break it down, break it down into like more simpler things, simpler elements. Because you know when you look at a dragon and you know you have like you have so many different um, shape designs and stuff, it's yeah it's kind of hard to like create something from scratch without reference or without any ideas, and that's why. Um, I think it's just, yeah. So that's why it's always good to like you know try and um, get different references, especially snakes. Like these are these are really cool. Um, you can easily create like a dragon silhouette by these snake silhouettes. Cause like um, yeah, because even this like you can see like maybe this artist used like snake silhouettes or snake reference to um, create this kind of shape. Hmm. Oh, 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> um, so yeah. I think in that mindset, if you have that, if you keep them with that mindset and do this kind of um, technique, I mean, don't worry. I'll I'll be like um, posting this on YouTube for you know for anyone who missed this thing. But um, which one was it? Yeah. So that's why. Um, you know, f breaking down to smaller e uh, elements or simpler elements or elements that you already are familiar with. 
so you know uh, the natural world with uh, animals and then you start to find just you know silhouettes uh, on Google maybe so so even a turtle you know just turtle um, silhouette and like I said like you know, don't go for silhouettes that are like you know, like these ones. <laughs> they, they're not good. I try and go for like more like these ones because again, like they have different angles, uh, different shapes, and you know, uh, just different positions, different poses. And yeah, it's just okay. yeah, it's it's like you're kind of training your eye. So if you train your eye constantly, and just it, it's just you'll become more used to it, I guess. Uh, and this just goes for anyone, like, you know, e even people who are beginners, it's just the same, like, you just constantly do it, and yeah, you, you should be able to do it. <laughs> I don't know if that kind of answers the question. <laughs> Okie dokie, thank you. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> Any more questions? Before we wrap up? Maybe not. You guys, are you all? Oh, are you guys all, all okay then? Oh, okay. Yeah, Sasaki-san, do you have a question? Yeah. Oh uh, well, um, no, but uh, um, I learned so many things today. So thank you very much. Oh, um, yeah. 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 Oh, that's great to hear. <laughs> yeah, and, and good to see your good to see your um friend like Bob Bird. <laughs> yeah. But, <laughs> Oh, that's great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for joining the workshop, guys. <laughs> um, of course. Yeah. <laughs> My horse. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I hope you guys, you know, le learned something yeah, for that. Yes. So. <laughs> um, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, e either ways, I'll be like, um, I'll post this recording on YouTube and I'll post it on Discord and and uh, just the work images that I made too or even the photoshop <laughs> file if, if you want so <laughs> uh, um, and yeah, if, if you guys have made something like from this workshop and uh, you know, if you if you finished it or something you can just um, feel free to just post on my uh, discord channel or something so everyone can see it <laughs> yeah sure yeah yeah why not mm-hmm yeah <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, definitely, it was great to see you all. Um, it's, it's great to have you guys here. And yeah, thank you so much for coming. Yeah, uh, thank you for doing this workshop. Yeah, no problem. Like, I was kind of worried, like, you know, no one might turn, <laughs> turn up because, like, um, on the Japanese workshop, only one person <laughs> turned up. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah but, but that's okay. It's, it's completely, you know, different culture. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. But okay. yeah, that's yeah. great. Then. Cool then. Well, see you guys, you know, sometime again. I, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't know when my next workshops it will be because I, I don't really do that often. But yeah, see you guys and enjoy your rest of your day. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay then. Well, good night in Japan. Bye. <laughs> good night. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. See you. <laughs>